and they've been married for like 60 years. You know that kind of story? Everybody always loves that. The kind of people that always get applause based on the math of their lives. <laughs> How long have you been married? 60 years. Oh. Oh. Ah. Isn't that automatically wonderful? <laughs> How do you know? You just know how long it's been. For 60 years, every morning, he tells me I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> well, let's just say this is a happy couple, okay? They love each other. They've been married for 60 years. That's longer than most people really want to be alive, and they've been together that long. And now they're just an old couple, and they just walk together. You know when you see two people? And it's kind of lovely. They don't need anybody else. It's just the two of them. This is both of them. They just walk. <laughs> they always walk somewhere nobody walks there. It's trash. It's trucks. He's wearing a suit that is not a color. She's wearing a dress that's like a triangle, like a kid drew it. It's just fucking a dress with fruit on it. Nobody cares. And they just walk every day. It's cold. Yeah, it's cold. You want to go to the store and get a cracker? Yeah, let's get a cracker at the store. Yeah, buy a corner. Yeah. And then one day, usually he dies first. They're walking and he goes, ah. Ah. And she says, Richard! And he dies. <laughs> so now it's just her. Just Rose. And she's alone. And now she just stands in their house. Once in a while, somebody goes to get Rose because there's a wedding. Come on, Rose. Uh, enter. Just fucking come on. <laughs> come on. Fuck, come on. Fuck! I just want to push her from. <laughs> she lives. She lives ten more years. Ten years after Richard dies, and uh, and then ten years later, now she's laying in a bed. She's dying. Somebody's there with her on their phone. So Rose is dying, and she says, well, at least now I get to be with my Richard forever. Where, where did she get that idea? Where did, where did that come from? I've, I've looked it up. No religion teaches that when you die, you get to ruin heaven for your dead spouse. <laughs> Why is that fair? Who gets... Richard's been dead for 10 years. He's been in heaven for 10 years. And somebody comes up to him, hey, your wife is coming. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, just now? <laughs> yeah, Rose just died. She'll be here in about 20 minutes. <laughs> they just gotta hose her down and tape the wings on. <laughs> and then you're gonna be together forever. Wait a minute. Fuck. You said this was heaven. Why is this? I have a girlfriend here now. I don't want to fucking. She's the love of your life. She's not the love of my death, motherfucker. <laughs> That's marriage. Marriage is a big deal. Marriage is a big deal. I went to a wedding the other day. I went. You ever been in an email fight? Some of you are in an email fight right now. You know an email fight, not a text fight. A text fight is like, fuck you, bitch. Or, fuck you, bitch. Dick, bitch.
asshole. <laughs> That's a text fight. An email fight is like, in June when I told you that I had this issue, I was very disappointed in the way you didn't listen. You know those emails you just work on it all night? Like it's the closing argument to a murder case. It's so important, your fucking email. You're pounding it out like Beethoven and you're pouring water in your head and going deaf and still working on it. And then you send it to somebody. Can you read this and tell me if it's fair what I wrote? Start at the bottom. And they write back, I made a few changes. Oh, thank you, that really captures my voice. And yet, and then you send it to somebody else and they're like, I would take out eat shit fuck face. <laughs> and you're like, no, nah, fuck you, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> and then finally you send it. <laughs> and you're like, hmm. And then you feel really good, I finally said it, finally. And you have this fantasy that they're at home reading it right now going, oh, oh, I'm wrong about all of the things. <laughs> and at some point during the day, they haven't written back yet, because, and you know it's because you just bewitched them. <laughs> and you decide, I'm gonna read my email. I'm gonna read the email that I wrote. Is there any more disgusting modern human behavior than reading your own already sent emails? Is there any more scratching your asshole and smelling your finger than, than that? I do it all the time. So that's what I did, I was in an email fight and, uh, and I looked in the sent folder where it's all, that's it, it's in stone, you can't change that anymore. And I realized, by mistake, it said, um, this is my latest draft, what do you think? <laughs> so now the rest of it is just shit. It's shit now! Because she knows I have a writing staff and a focus group. There should be credits at the end of this fucking email. Approved by 